Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit easier way to install PS Freedom on your PS3 if you're using an iPhone first generation or an iPhone 3G, and it can be on firmware 3.1.2, 4.0, 4.01, or 4.02. And remember, your PS3 must be on firmware 3.41. Now, if you're using an iPod Touch first generation, you'll still you have to use the way that's in my other tutorial, and I'll go ahead and put the link up right now, so if you guys are using that device, you can check that out and get your PS3 jailbroken. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So you'll need your iPhone first generation or iPhone 3G. First, make sure it is jailbroken with black rain or red snow. Now this won't work with Spirit. So let's go ahead and pull up the PS Freedom website, that way we can get the files that we need. You'll see right here, if you're using the iPhone first generation, you'll download this file for either Windows or Mac, depending on what you're using, or if you're using the iPhone 3G, you'll download this file. So let's go ahead and download this to the desktop. And this will take a couple of minutes to download. Once it's finished downloading, you will see it out here on the desktop. So we will we'll go ahead and open it up, extract it, Now we'll go ahead and open up the folder, and we'll go ahead and run the iPhodroid program. Now you're going to see the picture of the phone right here. That's how you know you've got the right one if that's your phone. And the next thing to do is just go ahead and plug in your phone. Make sure it's on. If iTunes tries to open up and sync, just close iTunes out. And you don't even have to put your phone in recovery mode. Just go ahead and click shoot, and it's going to establish a connection. It's going to go ahead and run the hack on your phone. After it's completely finished, it will take a few minutes. On your phone screen, you're going to see the open iBoot, and down at the bottom, you can click install. Click install on your iPhone and it will install Open iBoot permanently. That way you will have this hack installed on your iPhone and from now on you can use it on your PS3. And that's it, that's all there is to this one. So go hook it up to your PS3, run the exploit and you are finished. And thanks for watching.